Me, I believe it boosts engagement and you know up to 30% and that's something that I noticed. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's Norman checking in. Welcome to the creation series. This is the first episode. Thank you for everyone that's been waiting for this um, for this series because this is actually gonna be insane. The, the whole reason behind this, um, this series, behind creation in general, is all based on creating content, being creative, you know, adding an element of creativity, a slight edge to your content, you know, bringing all your visual ideas to life. So we're gonna be focusing on branding. If you're looking to start a business or a product, this is the perfect place to start. So with the creation series, I'm proud to announce that the creation store is officially live. So if you wanna get hold of um, some of the effects that we're using, head over to creation.store right now where you can get access to all these things. We've got a whole bunch of free giveaways and a whole bunch of free products which you can download for free. I know some of you are trying to grow your personal brand. For me personally, I've been on YouTube for a long time. Not a long time actually, I'm pretty new to YouTube. But on Instagram, I've been on Instagram for a while. I've managed to accumulate a total of 400K followers on Instagram. To some of you that might mean nothing, but for me, it's not just a number, it's also the connection that I've made with you guys. So that's epic. But one question I've always got is how do you build content? How do you make content like that? You know, for example, like these bits of content that I've been producing over the years, some of my content's gone viral, which has allowed me to keep growing and still growing today. So videos is, is one feature that's worked for my content. I feel like for fitness influencers, it's a blessing, you know, being able to give free workouts and you can swipe through and it's actually boosted my content. For me, I believe it boosts engagement and you know, up to 30%. And that's something that I noticed in the swipe feature when it was firstly introduced. If you've experienced anything like that, do comment below and let me know because I feel like it does boost my engagement. Interact with it so much better than a standard post. So we're talking about Instagram content here. So taking advantage of the carousel, you can get creative with it, you know. That's one thing that I try to do. So if you check out these two posts right here, this is how you can get creative with your carousels. There's many ways of doing it. More tutorials coming on how to do these kind of things. So it'll be very simple and very easy to follow. Uh, so I've recently shot a video with my boy TJ regarding you know content creation and how to build a following and how to continue to grow. I suggest you check that out if you wanna learn more. But for this first episode, I'm just gonna show you how to quickly make your content that little bit better, that little bit smoother and that little bit clearer. So today we're gonna focus on Final Cut Pro. It's the simplest and most intuitive software you can get, the very simplest. So we'll actually put up a training guide a training guide, I'm so used to saying that. We've actually put a Final Cut free guide, which you can follow, which will help you to actually start learning how to use Final Cut. It's the simplest program and the best, in my opinion, based on experience and other things that I've used. So this is what I do. Whenever I start my videos, I always, again, get my footage, get your footage right in the gym. We're gonna be taking advantage of the platform, Instagram. So we're gonna be shooting a four by five. So four by five is the format that we'll, that we'll be using. So straight up, go to Final Cut Pro. So create your library first. And then after you create your library, go to new, new project. And then what I do, I'll probably call this zero. Actually, let's call it A. It will make sense in a second. So we'll call it A and then we'll go down to custom. And then we're gonna change this to 1080p. Sorry, 1080, 350. So this is the aspect ratio for building a portrait four by five format for your videos. And then now we just wanna upload our footage. So let's go to import media. So if you check out this video right here, this is the video that we're gonna be editing and I'm gonna show you the workflow behind it. So we're gonna drag and drop the footage. By the way, you can just import, import this footage. So what we'll do, we'll let that load up. So what we'll final cut, that, that drag and drop your footage. So for me already, I already know where my footage is gonna go. I'm gonna cut this clip. So this is introduction clip. And then I got working set right here. I'm gonna cut straight into the rep. So I always like to cut into the rep to keep the momentum going. And this is gonna make sense when I add some music. And we'll add another set in there and boom. So guys, this is gonna be our first swipe. So first swipe is done. And then what I've done, I've created a toolkit. So if we go into Instagram, uh, I'll copy and paste my toolkit. I've attached my guide for how to do this step by step, which you can download below. Uh, with the toolkit, it has an adjustment layer. So the adjustment layer is gonna change your whole entire format of what we have within the video. So as you can see, the video right now is horizontal. So I'll click on the adjustment layer and then come down to the control panel in compositing, get that right, and then change that to 90 degrees. So it's portrait and zoom that by 180. So right now you can see, I've got a whole bunch of assets that are kind of uh, overlapping on the footage. The gym graphics are officially live on the creation store, which you can grab right now. We're gonna go to our gym graphic 
and then go down to title and then we're gonna change a few things so we're gonna get rid of the background so drag that down so get rid of the background and then the text we're just gonna simplify it so if I wanna change this as a, sec as, as a secondary master group we've got triceps so let's go over and head to triceps as a secondary master group and boom so that's the first swipe and then we're gonna do a quick time lapse so next exercise is flat barbell press so that's the next swipe and then we got some and then we've got some cable uh machine fly standing fly and then so what i've used with the gym graphics i've used the mesomorph which is available in the store and also you can get the ectomorph and it's what i've also made one for the ladies so ladies if you want to get your content that extra premium i've made a little lower third for you guys which you can grab one more thing which is crucial music so we're going to go straight to epidemic music something that's going to really bring the atmosphere and then let's find something that bangs all right here something with a bit of a kick all right guys so we got a song and we're just going to drag and drop it into final cut just like that and boom so we'll kind of tidy up this a little bit. All the colors you can change right here on the panels, which will make it very easy. And then if you want to resize it, right at the bottom. And then in terms of exporting, if you just press I and drag this side, and then go down to export, master file, boom, downloads, let's call it A1. So this is why I called it A. So what I do is I'll put it in alphabetical order. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, that's one swipe. And then B becomes, you know, my next workout. So if I'm doing chest, call it B1, B2, B3. That's pretty much it. In terms of color grading, I'm gonna dive deep into color grading because we've got some presets available on the creation store, which you can grab, but color grading will be the next part. So I can teach you guys how to start color grading your content to allow it to pop. And um, for the sake of the tutorial, I made it very simple. So you can just see this step by step. Again, you can get a free guide for this, which will teach you how to do this. That's it, that's everything. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was the first episode of the creation series. If you wanna find out more about how I create my content, make sure to check out my Instagram so you can see a visual representation of what I do. The creation series, I'll be showing you the back end and how I do these things. So there's plenty more episodes coming. If you've got any recommendations, do hit me up below and let me know what you guys wanna see more. Um, I've got a whole bunch of ideas of things I wanna to bring to light. And um, I'm very proud and pleased to announce that the Creation Store is now live. It's a project that took up to slightly over a month now. Initially, the Creation Series was meant to be live three weeks ago. But guys, better, you know, better late than never, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed this, guys. That was a very basic breakdown of my tutorial. Again, I'll be doing this more tutorial so I can get the hang of it. If you haven't checked out my previous video regarding how to grow your Instagram page, make sure to watch it because I gave some very valuable tips. And that was three years ago three years ago and some of you are still watching that video and asking me questions guys that video is relevant today all the things that i'm all the things that i did then to boost my following to boost my engagement to uh, boost my overall brand awareness it's all in that video and it's all the same things i'm still using today so guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure to check out um the creation store for start figuring things out start experimenting start getting creative i'll put a link below so guys stay tuned for episode number two it's gonna be sick